A web page can be considered as a human body, which has three important elements. The first one is HTML. It is the skeleton and body parts of a web page. Second is the JavaScript, the soul which makes it functional. And the third CSS, the makeover and makeup of the body which makes it look attractive and properly arranged on different devices. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the CSS. Let us first learn the different ways to inject CSS in an HTML file. Cascading style sheets can be used in three different ways in your web page. Inline styles, internal styles, and external styles. Let's first talk about inline styles. In this approach, we write the styles using the style attribute within the HTML element. Let's have a look at this simple code. In this example, we are going to apply red color to the text of this div element. This approach is not recommended at all. Better never use it. It will be hard for you to control your styles in future because CSS becomes huge when you write for actual projects. Also, the styles written as inline styles have the highest priority or we call it specificity and hence are difficult to override. Let's talk about internal styles now. Using this approach, we keep the styles separate from the markup, but still the entire CSS is written inside the HTML file. Let's have a look at this example. We are using the style tag in head section of our HTML file to inject our styles in the web page. Still not a recommended approach because it makes your HTML file too large and difficult to maintain. Also, it will not allow you to reuse your CSS styles in other HTML files. Let's now talk about the external styles. This is the best way to manage your CSS. Let us move the styles to an external file, say styles.css. Using link tag, you can inject this CSS file in your web page. This approach provides separation of concerns and you can easily manage and debug your code. Also, this allows reusability of CSS files. You can use the same CSS file in different HTML files where required. The CSS file should always be injected in the head section so that any markup rendered on the page should have the styles applied on load. Otherwise, the page may look distorted for a couple of seconds, which is not really a good user experience. Let's begin learning CSS in next video.